I realized he was going to be something special in basketball at nine years old. He's like, he's normal. He don't act like he's ranked or anything like that. I'm at my happiest whenever I'm in the gym, especially during basketball games. He's the third leading scorer in the whole 17 youth at 15 years of age. We just landed in Dallas. Me and my boys are gonna turn up this weekend. The first session, we played a real tough team, Charlotte. You guys are not playing the way we play. They came out, they beat us, but we knew we couldn't dwell on that loss. Go Jaden, go Jaden. There you go. So we bounced back, won three games in a row. We got a pit bull mentality. That'll carry them a long way in life. We got the dub, baby. Then we went to Indiana for the second session. A tough matchup, me against Jalen Suggs. Battle of two really exceptional players. The competition between me and Jalen was real physical. We had to come out with a mindset like we can't let up. We gotta keep pushing. We pulled off with the win, then punched our ticket for Vegas. Yes, sir. I told you we gonna get the dub. Hey, what's up guys? We're here in uh, Georgia. Uh, this is our hotel where we're going to be staying. We're pretty much going to be staying like four to a room. Uh, KK, Quez, my boy Drew, Tennessee commit. <laughs> and this is my little brother right here, Jamai. I'm just excited to be able to uh, play again with my team, uh, be out here in July, live here in front of all the coaches. Oh, look, where my jersey at? Putting my B-Maze jersey right here. We're going, we rocking the orange ones tonight. Hopefully we look and go 4-0 and here. We're gonna come out with a dub. Oh, yeah, we're yeah, we coming out with a dub tonight. Dub. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Under Armour session three. Big matchup tonight, me against Anthony Edwards. We gotta come out ready and prepared to play. We know they're coming at us and they're gonna be a real tough team. We here getting ready for the game against Atlanta Express. We already punched our ticket to Vegas and so has Atlanta Express. And both teams got two premier star players, one in Anthony Edwards and one in Jaden Springer. Anthony Edwards, to me, he's a Serial killer. He's one of the better players that I've seen in a very long time. Y'all should be good, loose, and ready right now. Okay. I expect to see an exciting game. Hey, look, we're going to play defense. We're going to start off man to man. All right, they got one player that can really score. Jaden, you're going to start off on him. And everybody else, we're going to be in position to help. Let's go. Hey, lead on three. One, two, three. The lead. We took the early lead. First quarter is pretty much back and forth. Second quarter, Anthony Edwards, he had a big dunk. And that gave them a little momentum. But I told my team we gotta keep fighting. We can't settle down and let them keep beating us. Anthony, he was dribbling uh, the ball off the court. He was trying to get the ball inside. And that gave us a lot of momentum. That pretty much helped us with the win. Hey, way to win, good win. The rap on us is guys actually took the shot. You shot it, you shot it extremely well. Court shoot, didn't think about it. You start shooting it, you start. I'm telling you guys, you shoot, shoot the basketball. The worst thing that can happen is we miss shots. All right, bring it in. We got a 10.30 game, so the phone's gotta be turned in tonight. All right, elite on three. One, two, three, elite. elite. Next, we play a Team Rio. They're one of the biggest teams on the circuit. Everybody pretty much know who they are. Brian Antoine, Scotty Lewis, Aiden Harris. Let's go! I know it's a big game. I'm looking forward to playing them, but I still got to stay focused and I got to be ready to play and just keep fighting. This is why we're here. This is the reason we came right here. Lead three. One, One, two, two, three. three. Lead. When the game first started, they came out hot. We were down, but we knew we couldn't give up. We had to keep fighting. Jaden Springer has definitely been on the radar for a while. Uh, he's only 15. For a guy like that to have a mindset, kind of that dog mentality like he has, to be able to compete at the highest level of high school basketball, that's definitely someone, when I go to the next level, I'm going to be continuing to watch him. Starting out the second quarter, they was hitting shots, but we couldn't really stop them.
I put the team together so we gotta go hard. I'm gonna give them a hard, y'all follow my lead, we're gonna finish the game. So after halftime, we came out hot, swung to my team, and he hit a three. We came down, hit another three. So that gave us momentum. It was a dog fight. It was really going back and forth, back and forth. That big man Aiden, he had caught the ball down low. I thought he was about to be a dunk to tie the game up. He missed the dunk. So that played into our hands. Team Rio definitely one of the top teams on the circuit, um, the top team in the country. So um, we know if we can beat them, we can beat anybody. Good job, boy. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? So you never ever leave from beside me. Hey, <laughs> all right, I'm done. At the end of the day, man, I'm, I'm proud of you guys. You know, we started off sluggish and slow, but as y'all can see, as I always told you. When you play good defense and you pressure the ball, good things can happen. I'm telling you guys, if you listen to any of the great teams, defense win championships in every sport that you play. Your defense was what turned the game. Remember, you were down 13 at the half. What you got to understand is this. You're too talented of a group not to put it together and do really well in Vegas. Because that, to me, was one of the top teams in 17U. Bring it in. Lead <laughs> on three. One, two, three. Three. Elite. Dude, the goal for Vegas is just to win, like win the championship. That's like, that's our main goal. That's our only goal. I went last year. That was my first time. And this year is going to be different though, because I know, I already know we're going to win. Yeah, Vegas going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Who's going to get dunked on? Me, bro. You know I yeah, jump with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I jump with everybody. Jalen going to jump on it. He going to jump. He going to jump. I know. I mean, Vegas is at the end of July. We're not really worried about that right now. You know, we're trying to win it later. We out? Just finished eating, about to head back to the hotel. See y'all tomorrow. Last year, I was 14. I was playing on the 15 year circuit. I felt like I was dominating the game, and I feel like I could uh, take it up a new level and I could play 17s. The circuit really is a test of your game. It's tough. Everybody's um, coming to compete. They don't really call like a lot of fouls. You gotta play through it. So that's helping you improve. I know we banged up. I know that. You gotta fight through, man. Let's go, bring it in. Come on, Chris. I mean, how you doing? One, two, three. three. Elite. Elite. We started out kind of slow. We had the first bucket in the game. Then throughout the first half, they was getting stops against us. I was struggling. It was real tough. They just went on a run, getting easy buckets and transition. Let's go! Let's go, keep working! So I came up uh, to the top of the key, got an easy shot, hit a three. We couldn't get stopped on the defense. They came out hot, they answered every bucket we had. The whole game was just a mess. Everybody was tired from the last few games. Last loss, my team was just physically fatigued. He was real tired. We didn't give it our all. We had a great run up into that last game. I really think mentally our cast was fatigued because they played so many games, they've had to fight. So it was tough. We played well, but, th but right here, we left, we left that opportunity on the floor. All right? We don't three. One, two, three, three. After Atlanta, it felt good to go home and just chill for a few days. And I just want to be a normal kid every now and then. Just got out of school, about to go go-karting with my boys. I know I'm about to I'm take the dub. Catch the dub. I'm about to yeah, get the dub, first place. Grow, Best driver here. Yeah, Finished the racing, uh, did exactly what I expected, came in first place. You know, I beat all of them. 
It felt good to see my friends and just have fun, cut loose. <laughs> because I know Vegas is gonna be crazy, a little hectic. All right, stay tuned for more. <laughs> just touched down to Vegas, finished the last Under Armour session in Atlanta. About to turn up in Vegas and go undefeated. We here in Las Vegas for Under Armour Finals. It's the final, so my mom said going to the game is to uh, pull out with a win. All right, guys, this is it. Let's go. We gotta leave it all on the floor. All right, we gotta leave it all on the floor. Okay. All right. All right. One, two, three. Elite. You want me to go? We won the tip. Got an easy layup to give us the uh, first lead of the game. Throughout the whole game, they were double teaming. My mindset was to get my uh, teammates some ball because I know they were going to be open and I got faith in them to hit the shot. I had a smaller guard on me, so my mindset was to get in the paint, get easy layups, get easy buckets for me and my teammates. My teammate, KK Curry, he got a steal. Strong dunk to give us momentum and give us intensity. The third quarter, they were fighting back. They put the uh, score at 36 to 36. To start the second half, we came out with intensity. We came out strong. We were scoring, we were playing together, we were moving the ball. And so that really helped us get a double digit lead. Fourth quarter, uh, we know we had to pick it up because this is a game that really counts, it really matters. We played our heart out, I feel like. Uh, I hit a deep three. That put us up 18. That really sealed the deal. Uh, when I hit that three, I was feeling good. I ain't gonna lie. That, uh, that three was tough for me. Every game is important, especially when you're playing in pool play and only one team advances. Um, getting this first early win gets you going. Great win, man. I'm so proud of you guys, man. Guys stepped up and you guys shared the ball and, and we stuck together. And that's what it's all about, man. Sticking together, fighting through, and playing defense. I went to go ice my knees. Uh, my knees are feeling bad. And after that, I went to go do the compression, the Normatec for my legs. Jaden just came in and he got into the Normatec recovery boots to give his legs that extra boost of recovery. It drains all the fluid out of his limbs, increasing his chances for flexibility, decreasing his chances for injury and inflammation. I think he feels refreshed and I think he's ready to go win. Today we played against uh, Philly Pride. It's a must win game for us if we want to advance. My knee's been hurting and so I was feeling it before the game. If we win this game, we in the final four and we got a chance to win the, um, the whole thing. And if we lose, we out. In the beginning of the game, we started off kind of slow. They came out ready to hit two back-to-back -back threes. Uh, we hit a three, so we answered back. And my knees been hurting, and then I tried to play through it during the game, but it just kept getting worse. I told the coach I had to come out, so I went to go to the trainer room. They had like a bandage, they wrapped it around my knee to help restrict all the movement in that muscle. So we tried to see if that worked. I went out there, uh, I played a little while. But it still just kept bothering me. The pain in my knee, it made it hard for me to jump, hard for me to move. So I knew the, uh, the best thing for me would do would be um, to sit down. Huh? He can't, he, he, he can't play. If I can't give him my all, if I can't go 100%, I, need, I might as well come and sit down. So waste for my teammates. Yeah, Dave, you guys just take it easy. The knee is swollen. At halftime, it was 38-18. When I was on the bench, I was just thinking, like, what I got to do for our team to win? Uh, what can I help do? Like, because I know this is a must-win game for us. When the game ended early, uh, two minutes left because we got mercy rule. Finish the UA tournament uh, with a loss like that is uh, tough for us because we know we could have done way better. We know 
we had bigger uh, goals than ending in the um, playoffs. Of course, last game we out. I'm sure you guys um, didn't play the way you wanted to play. It sucked, you know, because I love each and every one of you. For the older guys, you know, you guys gonna go off and you gonna go to college and you guys gonna have to make decisions to make the next level. Playing on the circuit, I learned nothing's gonna come easy. Uh, you gotta fight, you gotta uh, go hard. Everybody's coming to compete. You gotta be a better player, you gotta be a better team. Be on three. One, two, three, please. Since we lost, we don't advance to the next round. And so I was just getting ready for the Stephen Curry camp. Stephen Curry camp, that's one of the biggest camps during the summer. Under Armour picks uh, 24 players to come out and play. Um, all the top players in the country uh, match up against each other, a bunch of skills training, and uh, Stephen Curry gonna be there, so it's a pretty big game. The players arrive uh, on Sunday, and the first thing they do is observe Stephen in his own private workout at a level of intensity and game speed that is world class. When Curry came by, he was dapping everybody up, asking for my name. And so the kid in front of me, his name was Jaden, then my name was Jaden. Then it was Jalen and Jalen. So he stopped, he was like, dang, there's a lot of uh, Jalen's and Jays over here. So then after that, we just had a conversation just talking about what he'd be doing, uh, some skill things that we can work on that we can um, use in our game. Let's go! After that, he just put us in, in the group. He told us what we were going to do. He showed us the moves. We came, we practiced it. We did a lot of skill work and drills. It's crazy actually being with an MVP, an NBA champion. After that, we did the one-on-one -on -one game. The whole time, it was Stephen Curry and Kent Bazemore was there. It was hyping us up, uh, gassing us a little bit. So it was a, a real cool experience. And then I, I went to go jump for a block, and then my leg just pent, like my leg just locked. So then uh, after that, I think I had to sit out a little bit. I had to call the train over and stretch me out. Jaden was going through some growing pains. His knees was hurting real bad. Then after that, I went to go get ice. Can I get like four bags? All right. He had the knot on his knee. It's inflamed, so now it's hurting him right now. Everything hurt. My whole lower body hurt. Uh, now we went to a community basketball clinic, giving back to the kids. The most important thing to step off court is being involved in the community. This year was a dedication of a new learning center to the Bushrod Community Center uh, in Oakland. We're here at the uh, community basketball uh, clinic. They had the little kids in the circle dancing, having fun, everybody having a good time. Oh, oh. Okay, on the whistle, drive across the court. High knees, high knees, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. It's a great experience being able to give back to the kids. It pushes them to want to do better and have a better life for themselves. Yeah! Hey! Tonight is the game. The top 24 players broken down into two teams of 12 each. Uh, they play live at the Kizar Arena in San Francisco in front of a big crowd. Beginning of practice, I got on the court and running through the drill. My knees are feeling bad. Can't think about it. As long as I don't think about it, I'll be pretty good. When the game started, um, I didn't start. I was with my team. I was supporting them, uh, just watching everybody play. I only played him three minutes in the first half, and I could tell I was bothering him because he's not used to that. Second half, he came out strong. But it felt good as a father in the second half to see him really come on strong. When he gets that basketball attitude, he takes it on the court. It's hard to stop him. Took the lead, helped bring them back. He kept the lead up until the last shot of the game. Yeah, today's game, man, it came down to the wire. <laughs> Steph Curry's team won. He beat his brother Seth on a last second shot, but it was an exciting game. I've grown so much this summer. 
coming into this, I was one of the youngest kids on the circuit. Didn't always get the respect I deserved, but once we hit the court, I saw everybody I belonged. Our squad, we racked up plenty of dubs and advanced all the way to Vegas. I led the squad in scoring and really got comfortable in the leadership role. And by the end, I loved being our go-to guy and wanted the rock in my hands at the end of the game. Now I'm looking forward to making more big plays for my high school and showing everyone that I'm destined for the lead. It's only a matter of time before Jalen Springer becomes a household name. What up guys, it's Overtime Larry. How you feel after watching this video? Dope, right? We got more of them right here. Check them out and click subscribe. If you haven't done that, you're actually slacking. I'm upset.